traipsing all over the desert. Where do you want her, Jamie? I'm On the couch. I've got a sack of potatoes, fellas. Well, Here, let me get you another pillow. Thank you for me. Climbing around on rocks? Oh, it's nice to see you too, Mom. Ow! It's your ribs again, Mom. Yeah, I think I bruised them. You're as white as a sheet. I thought you were Bye. supposed to get a tan on Mom, the desert. Mom, you look pale, all right? Take it easy. Jamie, should I get her something? You can talk to me, Mom. I'm right here. I'll talk to you. Well, fruit juice, water. tea, water? I've developed quite a taste for water since Come on up. Cass? Yeah, right here. Excuse me, Jamie. I want you to find out about Ken. Rachel... Please don't waste any more time on this. I think we should just let Ken take care of himself. Excuse me? Look, the man has been nothing but trouble. Please, just forget about Ken Jordan completely. You don't know what you're talking about, Jamie. Matt, maybe you and Paulina could tell Grandma to forget the water and brew up a pot of tea. Yeah, sure. It's not like you to be so sure about something you know nothing about. Cass and Frankie filled me in at the airport. Cass and Frankie are operating on hypothesis. You are, you know. Look at the way he's insinuating himself into your life. You make this sound like a very sinister plot. The man is definitely not what he seems. He keeps revising lies and you keep buying them. No, I don't. Well, I know how you must feel, Mrs. Cord. No, you don't, Frankie. I'm sorry. But you're wrong about Ken. Mom, he fought with Mac the night before he died. That's not supposition. It is until it's proved. Frankie found witnesses. And then there's that picture of him and Mac. I don't know that that's him in the picture. Well, why would he have made copies then? He pretended he was a total stranger when there were all these links to you. All those coincidences. Yes, there were. There were a lot of coincidences. But he did save my life. The man has a real questionable past. Half a past. The other half doesn't even exist. Mom, he set out to gain your trust, and he did. Yes, he did. He lured you into the desert on a phony dig. It was anything but a phony dig. Where he almost got you killed. He risked his life for me, Jamie. Not once, twice. I was out there, he could have harmed me any time. But here I am, I'm safe and sound. Why isn't he with you now? Because we couldn't find him. And because Cass was very insistent that I come back with them. He left you. You were injured and you were at the mercy of those goons of his. He was trying to protect me from those guys, Jamie. And he is... Something's happened to him and we have to find him. Rachel. There is one other thing that I haven't told you yet. What? Did Jordan ever mention the note that was inside the Red Swan? No. The one Mac left for you. <laughs>